Hello everyone! Glad to welcome you to my Mouse Collections channel. I will tell you on behalf of my mouse about what collections exist, what people collect and why it is so exciting. And we will begin! Perhaps with Philately. Philately collecting stamps. Perhaps one of the most popular and famous types of collections. The stamps themselves appeared when the mail too, because there was a need to pay for mail. And sometimes the stamps themselves could serve as a means of payment. Look at this stamp. Wait a moment, I'll find it. I'll find it here. Here it is. Here it is. At the uh, beginning of the 20th century, in, the, in view of the legs of means of payment, it could also be used instead of a coin or banknote. You see, this is 10 kopeik. And you can see here. Uh, and uh, in general, the stamps of the early 20th century are very interesting, many for more than a hundred years or so. When the state changed, there was not enough money to print new stamps. Stamped stamps on, on top of the old ones. Now look at these stamps. Let me see. It's one second. A new emblem and face value are printed on top of them. By the way, when there was a lot of inflation in country, stamps were issued without a face value, with letters or different in drawings. And sometimes the drawings were the same and the face value of the stamp differed only in color. You see here the same, you see here the same old man. Here is blue old man and six kopeik. And here is red one and nine kopeik. And the same you can see in other Just di di all differences are in colors. It's here. And sometimes the drawing was the same, you see. So, as you see, temps are different, and this is also a story. And by the way, to start collecting stamps is simple and inexpensive, because they are produced constantly and are av available. Of course, if you are going to do this seriously, you need to delve a little into the rules. For example, stamps are... You see that they, they could be with stamps, you see, yes, and uh, they are, all my stamps are with post stamp. I'll try. Ah, here is it. Without any stamps, this is clear stamp. Ah, you see. Mm. And uh, usually, you see, these uh, stamps are doing only for collectioners. It's uh, this stamp wasn't on the envelope. It was just for collectioner. On the back of the stamp is glue, you see. If the stamp has not been used, it is clean. The adhesive base is preserved. If it was removed from the envelope, its back side, you see, looks like this. So, let's have a glimpse glamp for first my stamps. You see this is begin of 20th century. It is Russian Empire. Here is postage. Here is Deutsches Reich. Here is here is the Deutsches Reich. 
and uh, here is more later stamps USSR you see it's from Bulgaria it's from Germany it's from USSR it's from Czech Republic it's from Mongolia by the way do you know which stamps are the most expensive don't believe do not believe it the wrong ones those that were printed with errors wrong color inverted image all that makes them rare well you can talk about uh, stamps for a long time and I will definitely do it because I have over 300 of them tell us which collections interest you and I will definitely tell you about your favorite topics see you on the mouse collection channel next time <laughs>